This is Mike over in Rockledge, Florida, cutting out my uh, new board. He's using the KKL shaping machine. Cut it out. This is a Stu Sharp custom uh, shape. This is going to be a 6-6 six, six, uh, modified squash. This is the uh, Dow Chemical Blue Extruded Styrofoam. It's the same foam that uh, Doug Wright used to use back in the day. Uh, it's an extruded styrofoam, uh, higher density and a little bit better structure than a, the regular styrofoam. Uh, I've continued to use this same foam over the years. Uh, can't get the white foam anymore, it's too expensive. But we so we use the blue. Uh, on the, this is the first board I've ever had without a stringer, and uh, I'm going to get AJ Finn to uh, glass this with. Uh, we're going to vacuum bag it. Greg Bungle told me about ten years ago that if you vacuum bag this type of foam, you wouldn't have the bubble problems. And for the most part, that was correct. Um, I did have a few small problems with uh, with off gassing with this foam, but um, it took quite a while before I had a problem. The bubbles uh, normally always form right at the stomp areas, on, and uh, I had no problems with uh, any of my boards. I've been experimenting for about 10 years now with this foam and light glass jobs. I've been able to get my boards down to around six pounds, uh, maybe a little bit over six pounds, using one layer of S S glass four ounce on the bottom and two layers of S glass four on the deck. Uh, AJ is gonna uh, glass this for me uh, using his methods, and we'll see what we end up with weight wise. Uh, with no stringer in there, he's going to have to obviously put a little bit extra glass, but he's got it pretty much dialed in and knows how to do it. Go to www.cannibalsurf.com to find out more about uh, AJ's uh, glassing. And uh, he does a really good job. My uh, first board I'm super satisfied with, so uh, check it out at cannibalsurf.com.